social experiment like no other. The popular kids at a New York high school are trading places with the unpopular kids. Before our popular girl Tamara could experience life as an, un an unpopular teen, she needed a dramatic transformation. Check this out. No matter what makeup they put on me, I'm still going to be the same old Tamara. I'm still going to walk the same, act the same, no matter what. Prosthetic makeup artist Louie and Josh will be transforming Tamara's face. How you doing, by the way? I'm Louie. Hi, I'm Tamara. Nice to meet you, it's Josh. I feel like a superstar right now. Just I just like the attention. As the transformation process continues, Tamara's confidence starts to wane. Yeah, I'm very scared, feeling really nervous. Tamara is given acne, when someone has acne, I think it's like you don't care about your appearance. Not so fabulous hair and very baggy clothing. And finally, it's time for her to see the completed look in the mirror. I'm so scared to look in the mirror. Like... Wow, I don't know what to say. This is, this is nasty, actually. People actually look like this, too. Like, if I seen a girl like this, I would definitely tell her to go home and wash her face. This is crazy. I can't look at this anymore, guys. For Tamara to really experience what life is like on the unpopular side, we created a fictional school with fictional students to illustrate how hard life for that unpopular girl can really be. Look at this. Check this out. Okay, guys, today we're going to present our essays for the class, okay? And hopefully you've all prepared your essay on what it's like to be me. Normally, Tamara loves to be the center of attention and be in front of the crowd. <laughs> so who would like to go first? But in her new self, the thought of getting up in front of her peers is overwhelming. Who would like to share their essay next? Tamara? Can I say right here? <laughs> uh, nope, nope, this is a presentation. <laughs> Immediately. Uh oh. <laughs> the students begin to make fun of Tamara. <laughs> What's it like to be me? I can't hear you. <laughs> Something she's never experienced before. Not being able to control the situation puts me behind the girls who have it all. OK, guys, let's listen up, right? I'm sorry. I'm bored. OK, OK. Our teacher has to help Tamara finish her sentence. So can you tell us where that's coming from, what that feels like? My self-esteem. I have no type of self-esteem. Like, this is hard. I don't think we can. Okay, let's let's step over here, sweetheart. We don't have to hear them, just right here. I don't know how to feel right now. Like, I don't even know. Like, I don't know. They're just laughing at me, and it hurts. I hope she doesn't bite. <laughs> Next, the class gathered for senior portraits. Excuse me. Thank you. Oh, it's so gross. But for Tamara, the idea of posing in class in front of everyone evokes a torment that she has never known before. Oh my god, how could you just sit there? Uh, don't break the lens. And the other students are not making it any easier for her. Tamara is speechless. This is like my third time watching Leprechaun oh from the Hood. <laughs> as the students continue to torment her. Is that a popping pimple or a volcanic eruption? <laughs> it's like the princess of my toilet. OK, we're going to talk to you, Tamara, in a little bit. Um, but I want to talk to our girls first, um, who said that their looks and their clothes made them feel like they don't fit in, which was Brittany, Peggy, and Amanda R. So um, which part of the way that Tamara was treated did you identify with the most? Um, for me, definitely the acne. And the, um, I guess the clothes she was wearing, because you know I come to school to dress comfortably in many cases, and you know just how my style fits, because I don't care about how to impress other people or what I wear in high school, you know. And um, my acne, of course, because you know I can't help it. And those pictures, it's like, you know, you never know if a pimple's gonna be there or if it's not gonna be there. And I don't wear makeup to cover it up, so it's gonna show if it's there or not. You know, mm -hmm. I have to think like, okay. So who's going to say something now about my acne, you know? Anybody, anybody else felt like they were feeling what was going on on the screen? You can stand on up. Um, I'm Maria, and I'm in middle school. And I don't shop at the popular stores. I don't have the coolest clothes. And um, I've never been popular. And 
One time in the sixth grade, I was cornered in the bathroom by uh, a bunch of girls so they could just tell me that I'm ugly and that I don't have cool clothes or anything like that. And then I didn't say anything, but I went home and I cried for like ever, and I didn't want to go to school the next what day. What do you mean you were cornered in the bathroom? What was, um, they, they, they ganged up on you? Yeah, they blocked the door. They blocked the door and they were making fun of you? Mm -hmm. You know what's so funny, you guys keep on talking about the cool clothes. I don't really understand what that is because I had to wear a uniform every single day of school, every single day. So we were all the same when it came to clothes. You know, that I didn't experience that. And I wish that there could be something like that. I'm not saying I'm trying to be some socialist or something, saying everybody needs to wear uniforms, but it definitely worked for my school and the schools that I went to. And I, I find it awful that in a place when you're trying to learn that you have to be thinking about looking popping and looking fresh and looking hot. That's the last thing you guys need to be worried about. Um, we're going to talk to Tamara when we come right back. We'll be right back.